everybody, it's the D-Rock the Ninja, and welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time, we defeated Eldis, and we saw Master Grievo head off in this direction. This time, we're going to be following him and end the main story once and for all. And also, I just got to quickly say, Adam Smasher 93, you read my mind. I'm only coming in with five Pokemon, and that's including this Shadow Salamence. I decided to put Bayonet and Pubertar into the PC because um, I don't really feel like they're going to be helping me out much in this particular fight. That's just me though. Okay. And make sure you stock up on a lot of items. Highly required. Ho ho ho! So you even come this far? I had no idea that a mere child like you would pursue me this long. Professor Crane data ROMs and the lair. You alone derailed every one of our well-laid plans. Well, perhaps not just you. The news broadcast by UNBS did not help Cypher cause of it. Cause at all. However, my Shadow Pokemon plan isn't finished yet. The final act is about to unfold. Having come this far, I think you've earned the right to know what I have planned. The creation of Shadow Pokemon. I permanently resist the purification that was the first step. Next, I plan to create an army of Shadow Pokemon that will work independently on my orders alone. When this second step is done, I would take over the world without having to rely on bothersome people. And now... Let me introduce you to my faithful servant, the one that shall become the central figure in my Shadow Pokemon army. Come forth, XD001. Codename XD001. Now freed of all adjustments, I present to you Shadow Lugia. This Lugia is the first of the Shadow Pokemon that cannot be purified. Now, let us celebrate the completion of my Shadow Pokemon plan in advance. Fall prey. To Shadow Lugia. This is Sal Salamence. I mean Lugia. Jeez, cannot speak today. Anyway, Shadow Lugia, level 50, psychic flying type, pressure for the ability, Shadow Blast, Shadow Shed, Shadow Down, and Shadow Storm. Um, Shadow Lugia, as a Pokemon, it is just like any ordinary Lugia. Highly specializing in special defense. And, my god, this thing is a beast in combat. If you're gonna use uh, this, I highly suggest you come here with five Pokemon. So, let's just go ahead and get this over with. And yes, I am gonna be using the Master Ball. Alright, so here we go. Pretty much is guaranteeing that I'm catching it. Done and done. <laughs> Lugia. How dare you, child! How dare you snag my Shadow Lugia, my one loyal subject! There's nothing left, but I will personally see to the dest total destruction of your Pokémon! Fall! This is Grandmaster Grievel. Grievel has six Pokemon on his team. They're all Shadow Pokemon. First up, Shadow Rhydon, level 46, Ground Rock type. 
uh, Lightning Rogger, Rockhead for the ability. Shadow in, Shadow down, Shadow panic, and Shadow hold. Shadow Moltres, I'm level 50. Uh, fire flying type, pressure for the ability. Shadow fire, Shadow shed, Shadow hold, and Shadow rush. Okay, so these things right here, they don't screw around. Um, Rhydon as a Pokemon, it is a fantastic physical attacker and a great physical wall. If you're planning on him to catch this thing, by all means. But be warned, I think it kind of applies into the other battles that we had. If you accidentally fail, actually no. If you fail him to catch all of the Shadow Pokemon in a row, don't worry about it. You can just battle him once again and he'll still have all six of his Pokemon should you accidentally defeat them all. But anyway, next up, Moltres. Oh boy! Moltres is just like any other Moltres, it is downright crazy. If you're planning on to try to catch this thing, you can have a hell of a time. And be sure you stock up on a lot of Ultra Balls and Timer Balls. Because trust me, they will be your friend in this fight. And that's also another thing I want to quickly get into. Moltres has an exclusive move that only it can learn, Shadow Fire. Which is basically a shadow move that has a high chance of leaving his opponent with a burn. Okay. This is bad. I really want to say that that Moltres is actually kind of like my biggest threat right now. And I also want to quickly say this. Um, Grievel here is one of the very two um, characters in Pokemon history to have not one, not three, not six, but seven, count them, seven Pokemon in his arsenal. The other one being Getsus from Black and White 2. And my god, he is downright gruesome. Probably just as worst as Griefel in this particular game. Alright. Call for Salamence, and then I'm gonna bring down the Moltres HP a little bit more because. This thing does worry me a lot. Still not quite ready for any timer balls. But hey. Oh great, now Umbra got confused. Alright, let's switch it up a little bit. Moltres is almost uh, ready to be... Pretty close to be ready to be... Uh, having a chance to be captured. Okay. That's not good. Fortunately, I got his, his weapon. Great. Both of my Pokemon are now confused. All right. Oh, come on. This is never going to work. Okay, I'm back. Um, I decided to stall for a little bit of more time. So I could go ahead and give a timer ball a shot on the ride on. And I'll go ahead and call for Lugia once again. Okay, so here we go. Alright. One down. Alright. So, who is next? Executor! I've already mentioned it, he's got six Shadow Pokemon. 
Shadow Executor, level 46. Grass Psychic type, Chlorville for the ability. Shadow Storm, Shadow Shen, Shadow Hold, and Shadow End. Okay, so Executor as a Pokemon. If this thing is was mostly used up on the earlier of the game, this would have been a great monster because it, I think it should have um, Sunny Day and Solar Beam on standby, which is a fantastic music move set to have for it. So, if you really, really want to have a really good Executor, this is a good one. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. And of course, Solomon is hitting himself. All right. I'm gonna take a couple more turns, and then I'll give it a shot on the Moltres because Moltres's catch rate is very, very low, like three. All right. Oh, I get it. It's just greatly lowers defense. But hey, that actually could be a privilege in use. And if Solomon could please stop hitting itself, that would be outstanding. Thank you. All right. Jeez, what is it? Pick on the dragon today? Good lord. All right. Now it's going to give it a shot on the Moltres right there. Then go for another Shadow Blast on the Executor. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is going better than I thought. Usually it would take me a long time to be here, Tauros! Oh boy. Tauros, level 46, pure normal time, intimidate for the ability. Shadow Rush, Shadow Hold, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Sky. Holy crap, this thing kinda worries me. This was one of the best competitive Pokemon to use, and holy crap, he knows how to use them. Because trust me, you do not want to piss this Tauros off even in the slightest. Even if you feel like you have a good chance of taking it down pretty quickly. But that's not what I'm here for. Here we go. See, look at that. I mean, trust me, I know on how good Tauros is. I used the Tauros in my past LP. Uh, Crystal, I believe it was, yeah. And it was a fantastic uh, Pokemon. Called it fully. All right. All right. So yeah. Um, I guess we just keep continuing over what we're doing. Shadow Blast. Now this is also an exclusive move that only Shadow Lukia can learn. I'm also very happy that shadow moves are have infinite use. Which I believe it is. Okay. Oh! Okay, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's no need to worry. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Articuno, level 50, ice flying type, pressure for the ability. Shadow Chill, Shadow Shen, Shadow Sky, and Shadow Rush. Um, Articuno. This one was probably one of the best of its kind from the days of old. Not so much now. I'm not saying that it's a bad Pokemon. It does have a major weakness to rock. But it, also like Shadow Moltres, it does come with a move that only it can learn, Shadow Chill. Which I believe it has the chance of causing it its opponent to freeze. Okay. Oh man, my Solomons ain't looking too good.
Ooh. Okay, don't freeze. What did I just say? <sighs> uh, fine. But the best thing about that Shadow Executor that I accidentally defeat by a critical hit, which I actually kind of hate in this particular game, um, Grievel will still hold have this particular Executor if you accidentally beat him. So if you accidentally beat any of the Shadow Pokemon, don't worry about it. He'll still have that Shadow Pokemon when you challenge him again. Oh, come on! It caught that Moltres on the first ball. What the heck? Then again, it's still on the green. Okay. Let me guess. You're targeting Lugia now. Oh no! You know what? I'm just gonna say it right now. This was probably one of the most boring matches I've ever had to do in my life. Okay. So far, I'm doing not too bad. I managed to capture two of his Pokemon, but one of them did get knocked out, but that's alright. Alright. Oh, now you target the Lugia. Now watch it freeze. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Okay. Uh, let's see here. I guess we can go for the Ultra Ball on the Tauros. Then we'll go for another Shadow Blast on the Articuno. Here we go. Oh, come on! He almost had it, too. Ooh, nice! You know what? I like that! I actually like that! Owie! Okay, none of that's all out of the way. I guess we could give it a timer ball on... You know what? Let's give it a try on the Articuno, and then I'll call him for Lugia. Oh, come on! This could be another one of those sequence of failures. Okay. Okay, you know what? Um, I guess we could try the Ultra Ball on the Tauros once again, and then... I guess I could try to bring Articuno's HP down a little bit more. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Tauros is captured. I guess you can probably tell what's up next. Zapdos! This is also a Shadow Pokemon. Zapdos, a level 50 electric flying type. Pressure for the ability, Shadow Bolt, Shadow Shen, Shadow Sky, and Shadow Rush. This one in particular, many people claim that this one's probably the more better one of the entire legendary birds. Because it's a special attack stat, now my FM member shows me right, is one of the best out of its kind ever. So, yeah, this is a very good Pokemon in terms of properly using it in battle. <laughs> but unfortunately, I really can't say much good about this particular one because it's actually the final boss in the game. So, I guess if you want to use this particular Zapdos for whatever reason, be my guess. But just bear in mind, 
You can do very, very little in this particular uh, point of the game. Okay. Articuno's captured. Oh, boy. Alright. So now all that stands in the way is that Zapdos. I'm surprised at that Articuno only had one successful freeze from that Shadow Shell, and so far Zapdos has had yet to have a paralysis on any of my Pokemon. I'm sorry if I don't really have that much to say. I mean, we already know what's going on here, so I have very little to talk about. Okay. And it's a good thing I've been stalling here for a lot of turns already, so... The Tyrant Balls is still not quite ready to be used. But just bear with me on this one. Here goes. Now that was rude. Like, very rude. Nah. I'll just send out sheep, man. I guess you could say I'm practically using this as a scapegoat. Oh god, I'm so sorry to all of you Ampharos fans out there. <laughs> okay. Oh. But in all seriousness, I have a good reason for this. Now that was also rude. Yeah, uh, uh, there you go. So now that we got that out of the way, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a let's use a max potion on the Lugia, and then on Lugia's turn, I'll go ahead and capture. The Zapdos and a timer ball. It's been several turns already. So here we go. Okay, maybe not. Then again, prior to the fourth generation, I think it takes like up to 40 turns for something for its maximum effect to work. I don't know for sure. But, yeah. I guess it's just me thinking out loud. But then again, that's been happening to me a lot these days. I've always been thinking out loud. And that's something that, I guess I could probably talk about that. You ever have one of those days when you feel like you just can't stop thinking out loud? I practically do that 24-7. It's crazy enough as it is. Yes! Okay, so I've managed to snag five of his Shadow Pokemon excluding the executor so oops go <laughs> but on the plus side I was able to get all the the legendary birds and its trio master so yeah I rock all right how a mere child a mere child crushed by cherished plan What? This can't be! It's your fault. I won't forgive. There's no forgiving you. Grandmaster, we're done here. We should blow up Sedardock Isle with a child still on it. But if I did that, our Shadow Pokemon data and our subordinates would be lost as well. Grandmaster, such things can be replaced. We must ensure our own survival. I've ready a helicopter for our escape. We must, we gotta leave now. You're right. Wait. Please wait. 
You're willing to sacrifice everyone so you can escape? You should be ashamed. Ashamed? Clinging to foolish and privately guarantee Cypher's demise. Cypher must survive. That is our first duty. The Grand Master feels the same way. Yes, for Cypher's sake, sacrifices must be endured. What are you saying? The Shadow Pokemon Factory has been destroyed. XT001 was, de was defeated. Nothing remains of Cypher. Silence! Cypher will live forever. If only this child hadn't. Grandmaster, please give the order to blow up Cedar Dark Isle. Yes, it can't be helped. Don't begrudge us, child. Stop. Let's put a stop to this. Father. Don't call him Father. Call him the Grandmaster. Father, you've lost sight of what is important. You got carried away by this whole Grandmaster nonsense. It is impossible to take over the world by produ producing powerful Pokemon. Just think of this child. This child's pure heart won over the won over XD001. We were in the wrong. Silence! 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 Why aren't you showing some spine? We've come so far. Cypher is finished. Father, you yourself should know that more than anyone. Oh. Now please, stand up. This is how it should be. The laws of the land will render judgment on what we have done. Oh, everything I did, all of it was a mistake. Thanks to your courage, we were finally able to wake up from our nightmare. Thank you. You will have nothing to fear from us ever. You should return home to your family. Let us beat again too. The next time we battle, it won't be as mortal enemies. I will look forward to it. And that is it! That is the end of the main story of Pokemon XD Game of Darkness. Oh, holy crap! Okay, so, overall thoughts on the game. This is what I consider to be a very underrated game. I love this game so much. Now, you guys are probably wondering when I will be getting into Pokemon White 2, even though this was technically supposed to be the next game after my Pokemon... I think it was Pokemon Diamond, I believe it was. But anyway, um... I am on the, still on the verge of playing that game at some point in the future. There is a way how I can play the game with no more bugs or glitches of any kind, but unfortunately, it's not going to be here for a little while longer. So, I appreciate you guys staying patient with me. I will be getting into Pokemon Black, Black and White 2 at some point in the future. I just ask it for a little bit of time. But either way, thank you all so much for watching once again. So next time... We'll be getting our side quest in Pokemon XD Game of Darkness. See you guys next time.